guys, it's John back for another video. A couple things I want to hit on real fast. First of all, we're going to be painting this car. We're going to be painting it matte black. Now, if you saw the previous video, I went down with a really cool copper, high gloss copper. Now, I want to let you know real fast, we've broken up our site a little bit to have two different versions of car kits. The first one is definitely your most affordable kit, and it is your standard kit. It does not come with your high gloss top coat or anything like that. It comes with your base coat products, but it's a lot more first time user friendly or someone that has not gotten a lot of painting skills. That's definitely going to be the kit for them, and it's more affordable. I'm actually going to be putting the standard car kit, four gallons of base coat, matte black, over the top of this premium kit. So let's head on premium kits. Premium kits are simple. They come with your base coat. They also come with the colorants that you get to select, and they come with a gallon of showroom gloss. That is what was on the car before. That's what's on there now, that copper. And I'm going to show you guys a really cool trick. If you want to be able to have really cool customization, but really versatile paint as well, what I'm doing is putting the standard kit over the top of the premium kit. Now, how can I do that? Well, remember in a previous video, I let you know, our 2K showroom gloss is considered a clear coat. Well, you put removable coatings over clear coat. So I'm going to go over this with matte black. I'm not going to put a top coat down. I'm just going to do the standard matte black in the standard kit that we now have available. And when I'm ready to take the matte black off, I can peel just the matte black. That is so cool. I can go back to this copper color, and I'm going to do a video in about a month after I get, you know, had a chance to enjoy the matte black car. I'm going to peel only the matte black off and go back to the copper. That is something so unique about the paint is you can technically have two paint jobs on your car at once as long as you go down with a premium kit first. Now, it doesn't work if you don't put the showroom gloss, which you can also matte the showroom gloss. You can add our matte additive. It will flatten it to make it a matte finish. Anytime there is showroom gloss paint involved in the kit as a foundation, you can do what I'm getting ready to do. So we're gonna dive in I'm going to start shooting the car matte black. We're doing it outside. So before we start doing it, I wanted to let you know why we're doing it outside. We're going to be doing it with a turbine gun, and we're doing it outdoors. We're doing it because this is a DIY friendly product. We're going to be shooting some videos in the shop. We're going to shoot some of them outside, and we're doing that for a reason. Not everybody's got a fancy shop. Not everybody's got a really big garage they can pull their car into. With our standard kits, you can definitely do this outdoors. We're going to do some additional testing to see if you can also do a full gloss job outside as well. We'll do some testing on that and potentially shoot a video if it goes well showcasing that. But our standard kits can be sprayed outdoors. We're going to spray this outside. Also on top of that, I can't wait to show you after pictures. Me and Dima painted the wheels for this. So it's going to be a matte black car with high gloss black cherryish red wheels. So we we dumped in the red in the paint, added a little few drops of black, darkened up the red a little bit. It looks really cool, looks really great. The gloss is on them, letting them dry, so that by the time we're done with the car, slap the wheels on and drive away. So, with that being said, we're going to dive into the project. I am using the Harbor Freight Turbine Gun. I'm using a 1.8 tip. I will let you know, for you guys out there that are spraying, when you get our kits, it's probably a smart idea to pick up either some naphtha, or some xylene. Your temperature of where you're at will affect the paint. If it's really hot, you may get a little bit of, of, of not dry spray, but you might get a little bit of fuzzies coming out of the paint. Always keep that on hand. Here's what I like to do. I like to do four gallons of base coat and one gallon of xylene. So five total gallons, it just reduces it. The reason we didn't reduce it further when it came to manufacturing it was because people are gonna be spraying out of different equipment. So for example, if I reduce the paint to spray out of an automotive HVLP gun, it may not spray so good out of a giant tipped a, a turbine gun that has very little air pushing it out. It's spitting a lot of product. You can get run. So we left it up to the user to reduce it a little bit themselves. Make it, blend it how you want it in terms of viscosity, thickness of the paint. You can blend it up and see how you like it. Some people that have, have been using our paint, had great experiences, have told me that they'll go down with the first two gallons with the thick material like it is, 
as like a primer and then reduce the last two gallons to smooth everything out and make it really, really flat. So you can go about it the way you want it, but like I said, naphtha or xylene, either one of those is going to be fine and both of those can be bought at any local store that has any type of painting materials, Walmart, Lowe's, Home Depot, anything like that. So let's dive in. We're going to jump into the car. We're going to start spraying. Alright guys, so the car is finally done. After putting about two gallons of black down on the car, ended up deciding to not even add the matte additive into it. It has a really beautiful, as you can see, satin sheen to it. It looks amazing. It looks better in person and it looks great on the video. We've already looked at some footage. Also, as you can see, we did this really cool custom red on the wheel. It's very dark added up some red, dropped in a few tints of black, a few drops of our black tint, and made like this really cool dark cherry looking red glossed wheel. So that right here is giving you an example of customizing the car, completely customized, started it today, driving it home today. That is the beauty of removable paints is that it's done so quick. So with that being said, I wanted to showcase something. I forgot to mention this earlier in the video, but it was another big reason why we did this video. People wanted to see the product peel. So we actually, if you notice in the beginning of the video, we did not mask off the windows. We didn't mask the windows off for a reason because we're going to peel the windows. So we wanted to leave some things on there to peel, to showcase peelability. So we're going to dive on in and we're going to showcase peeling some of the windows real fast. So let's jump to it.
All right, so as you can see, peels great, very simple. Like I said, this was our standard kit. So wanted to showcase peeling and how simple it really was. We had all the stuff painted. You can see with our paint, it breaks so nice at those edges. Very clean edges as you're peeling. Always keep a razor blade on you though, because you always want to, just in case there's any bridged areas or anything like that, for you first timers or, or newbies to this, as you're peeling it, look for areas that have been bridged over, bonded over. So here's a spot you want to peel, here's a spot you don't want to peel, and they're bridged, they're connected. You can actually just give it a tight little snug and then just use your razor blade and just cut a clean line right there. But always keep it on hand, even if you did great masking, even, no matter what, always keep it on because you do not want to have anything pull back and, and mess up your paint job. Just in case that ever does happen, there is a technique that's very easy to use. If you ever have a spot that pulls back when you're unmasking or anything like that, make sure you use a razor after that, give it a nice clean edge. You can actually use some paint thinner and smooth it down, re-liquify that spot and push the edge. I mean, it works fine, but like I said, we, except for this video to showcase peeling, we mask everything very well and we're very detailed in unmasking to make sure that we don't, you know, mess up any paint job that we're doing and we've never had an issue ever in the whole time of doing this but that's because we're watching for mistakes that could possibly happen always be vigilant to look for potential issues and you'll never have an issue so guys thanks again for watching love the car we're gonna have the camera guy Dima here step back give you a nice outlook of the car it's John I'll see you on the next one